Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Long War of the Chosen Legendary Iron Man a playthrough which is gonna be fun because we do have a lot of missions up our sleeves and we're going to do them. Hack the uh, train workstation is the first one on North American soil. We want to rem remember ourselves, we want to liberate this region in order to get the continent bonus and uh, therefore we need to do a lot of missions here. So Western US Operation uh, Steel Chiles is a go and we're going to get Intel here. But more importantly, we're going to um, see a great squad, um, hopefully getting a couple of Master Sergeants and uh, that should be all there is to say, faceless infiltrators. <laughs> That's going to be interesting and high concentration of robotics means we're likely going to see a lot of mechs down the AO. So join me, we're going there in and hopefully there's going to be a smooth, wonderful mission. All right, we landed, let's take a look, eight turns and that is pretty far away. Uh, that's one of those situations where you can't range hack you actually need to be going in. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Okay, well, that looks like we're immediately up for a rude awakening. Sure, if I want to hack right away, maybe next turn. That's affirmative. Okay, nothing else. Let's just overwatch for now. We'll stay here, which is a better spot. Okay, this turn we're going to give it a go. Frontline. Takes an aid protocol, haywire protocol. Let's get it. Oh, not bad. I like it. Uh, deal with the turrets. That's an advent turret. Oh, that's a heavy turret. Okay, well, rapid fire it is. Good. Let's continue to push forward. Got some advent here. Heading there now. Okay, that's a start. Good hit. Unfortunately, that triggers also the other pack. Oh, there's another mech. What did I get myself into? Hmm. 
Could be a stun. All right, doorbell. So, would be the first time that Edwin got saved by the doorbell, but not today. Not on my watch. I think taking out the Spectre is not a bad idea. Yep, stun for two rounds. That's fantastic. And in the meantime, hmm, can't really do much, so might as well just go and try to hit the Mac. Oh, that's good. That was excellent. Okay, but it is in leather range, and if we are overwatching with a pistol the mag actually would potentially move forward and we can kill it there we go Good, we're moving in. I would like to put this down here. It's almost a little bit late, but okay, whatever. Let's get that Spectre. Okay, of course. Fine by me, not a problem. What we can do is <clears throat> another sniper shot. This time dead eye. Wow, just grazing hit. Whatever you say. That's not very good. <laughs> barely, barely out of range. Good, we're moving closer. Venom is moving closer. And that's pretty much it. We're in full cover, so we should be fine. <clears throat> Good, let's interrupt the heavy mech. Deflection. Suppression is gone. We're using dedication, which should increase our mobility. Finally. And 
unfortunately we don't have a great angle. That is not good. No, that's not good. I do agree. Free reload, and then get the mech down, mech down, smack down. And we do have close quarter zone. So that advent is not going to have a great time. One of the things that we can do is set him afire, uh, and fire. Set him ablaze. Good, never mind. That actually killed him altogether. Move, move, move. Got your stuff here. You are kidding me. <clears throat> Yet another turret. See, it says seven to nine enemies on the. On the mission briefing and then we do have four turrets that conveniently do not show up for me that is like a five years a five year old bending the rules on the playground by basically saying um, yeah I said seven to uh, seven to nine but I really meant eleven it's not even eleven it's thirteen <clears throat> I'll teach this turret. No, I won't. I definitely will will not teach this turret. There's no teaching happening today. No, there's simply no teaching happening today. We'll weasel out. As if this year has never happened. It's going to be a little bit of an explosion, but that's pretty much about it. I wanted the loot, didn't work out. really need to move all the way up to the objective get some extra intel Heavy turret needs to go. Hostiles pacified. I can handle that. Affirmative, covering now. I'm on it. Locked and loaded. You know. By thinking about whether or not I want to fight the max, I came to the conscious decision uh, that I don't want to do that. Let's do this. Come get some. Come get some. Come get some. Moving out. <clears throat> uh, 
And of course, it's not just the mech. The faceless ones. Outside of the range. Oh, this looks a ugly. oh wow! Just outside of range. Healing ourselves. Mac goes down. And the other Mac also goes down. Which then brings us to. Rapid fire faceless one. Not too shabby. Rock and roll. Overwatch, overwatch, and overwatch. That is really unfortunate. The whole pulling the other mechs and then them just rushing in. Time to go. Oh, there was loot. I unfortunately forgot about that. <coughs> well, not the cleanest mission. That'll be another 10 plus days in the infirmary. Oh, now I do understand. It was one of those sleeper missions that cons very easy and then in reality is much harder. Now that makes sense. Yeah, those missions exist. <clears throat> it's a feature in Long War where you kind of see that super easy mission and it's just a honey honeypot where you're being uh, triggered into bringing yeah a suboptimal or lower force and then all of a sudden you're being greeted by reinforcements or very strong enemies and you cannot evac easily uh, it all starts to make sense now 25 days behave come on even for our standards that's a lot Good, got alien alloys, but I want to continue making contact. We've managed to track the chosen hunter to this region. Jaded. Very good. We're not interling, we're recruiting. <coughs> you guys stay a bit under the radar and we are continuing to make contact New India fantastic we can see the recruitment here is going very well 
and another mission I mean we can yeah, quite easily do that that was our psionic squad so let's go right into it and do the mission recover at least four area. crates it's getting more and more difficult Locate and mark the crates with transponders, and Firebrand will handle the rest. Alright, so that's one crate. There's another one over there. There's another one over there. Let's hope we're not getting the crate bug again. Crusader moves to here. You move to here. Careful, don't want to be spotted out yet. Mm. Let's see, I mean we could teleport that's going to be a great uh, a great advantage for us Let's do this. <clears throat> and we can definitely take on a lot of enemies at the same time because we have excellent crowd control all right end of turn but I don't want to break concealment for just one drone if possible. Moving out. Continuing to move out. Ah, there are more crates. Fantastic. Will do. on the enemy okay so that's one two for staying there Heading then three for being here Closing four for that And five over here. Even a sixth one up there, as and when needed. Okay. Roger. I've got my eyes on you. Good. Next turn, it's go time. We're going to lose concealment, potentially trigger two drones, but that's okay. Nice. All right. Here we go. A steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. This is going to be our extraction. This is Firebrand. Feedback request confirmed. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Mac moves up. Do I get a badge or something? Drone is destroyed. Let's get this show on the road. I'm about to see. I've got eyes on an admin position. Okay. That's the worst way of getting spotted out that I've seen in a while.
Did that work? Is he panicked? It's not disoriented, so I assume he's panicked. No, it, he's disoriented. Okay, never mind. <coughs> Our position here isn't bad, so I'll continue to use it. Going in, killing one of these guys, and yes, I know, we're flanked, but don't worry about that for now. Sentry <clears throat> is going to take some damage, hopefully dies. We're putting stasis on Wilson, making him effectively immune. <clears throat> And of course, a couple more enemies are going to show up in true X confession. It wouldn't be a party if there wouldn't be a faceless one. Sniper Viper does what the Sniper Viper tries to do. We got a solid position, <clears throat> much better than the original start. I'm as graceful as a gazelle. Time for a big, fat, over juicy overdrive. Naja, of course, dodges, because that's what Najas love to do, dodging. Free damage. <clears throat> we are face walking, taking a better position over here. Mr. Berserker cannot be controlled another time. We're luckily far enough away for it to not matter. Good work. 
defense locator is down and our transponder is active. Fire so that will trigger this guy to move up here. Naja needs to die. We can't let her live. It's just a lot of damage. Being greedy. Let's drive him insane. And he's panicked. That's exactly the result I wanted. Berserker can move up here, can't reach us. So I tell you what. <coughs> Crusader is off limits. And we're soul firing the advent officer. <coughs> Good hit. <laughs> Unless they leave us no choice, we should try to avoid damaging the crates if we want to bring home anything useful. Hmm, he hasn't counter-attacked, so since that's an AoE attack, maybe it doesn't work there. Would be my guess. Berserker is now officially enraged. I want the loot. Even more loot. Unbelievable. I'm trusting you here. Good. Divert gets more hit points just in case the Berserker gets ideas. And Berserker takes damage. Like it. I don't think we can again mind control him. Oh, he's again panicked. Nice. So it indeed works. You can redo it. Are a bit 
Copy. That might trigger the drone. Yep. Yeah, we're being greedy. We're taking everything. If you say so. But there is one more crate on top, and I think then that'll be that. Unless I've missed something. Look, overall it was a very interesting uh, style of fight. I can firmly say if you do have damage dealers and uh, put a lot of Psy operatives in there, their only weakness is dealing with uh, mechanical units and I'm pretty sure it, you can overcome that by simply giving them a means to deal damage to non-living creatures but the sheer amount of crowd control that you can deploy is mind numbing I think I think we've uh, this time gotten 11 crates which is crazy if you think about it uh, that might even be a record and the only reason why we have lost one crate is because I decided not to breed it atypical for me I must admit this is firebrand. It's time to go. but I'm trying to, no need to ask twice. work on my weaknesses Good. That one situation where all of a sudden we pulled like seven enemies at once. Uh, gotta have a backup plan. Got to have a backup plan. Good. Okay, well, we don't, didn't get promotions, but I hope we got enough of a boost for us to be able to train these guys. Overwatch shots here, yes. That's not bad either, but plus 10 aim on Overwatch and reaction shots and they can critically hit is exactly what we want together with Hunter Protocol. <clears throat> so... Let's do that. Oh, 103 supplies. Yeah, thank you. Good. <coughs> okay, well, this is disappointing. Why is there no Psionic character? You're telling me we did a mission with all of the Psy operatives for nothing? It's all for nothing? Yeah, too little combat experience because it was an easy mission. Well, gotta send them on another one, I suppose. Uh, that 
was <clears throat> all the Grey Knights, yeah. And we were looking at 15 enemies. I think we can do that without an infiltration, but that'll happen in the next episode. We already have crammed two missions into this one. Albeit with a slightly disappointing ending because we didn't get our psionics uh, trained like I wanted them to uh, to be um, Yeah, well, it is what it is guys. Thanks for watching if you enjoy long war of the chosen leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye